What's good, people? Welcome back to another episode on my channel. It's your boy, Elijah. Thanks for being here. So today, I'm going to talk to you about why you should be taking your finances a little bit more serious. And if you're watching this video, you're likely at that point where you really want to be doing that. So today, we're going to be focusing on how to set expectations and goals for yourselves into different category. This is going to help you organize how you're going to go about getting your financial independence. So to start off today, we're going to be talking about a quadrant as you can see here that is going to show you how you should be putting priority into different aspects of investments so we're going to start off today with the most important aspect of your investment portfolio which is yourself so investing in yourself is the biggest thing you can ever do because you are the only one that has yourself and your best interest in heart and this is going to give you the maximum profit and happiness and joy and every other thing that you want in life so how are you going to go about doing this so the first thing i'm going to recommend today is learning a profitable skill so today we live in a digital world where the computer runs a lot of what we do computer or your phone whatever the case may be so learning how to use your phone or your computer to make a lot of different applications websites or even just communication is going to be very very strong so Social media is very powerful now. Being able to communicate with a lot of people is very, very important. It's a huge skill to learn. Next thing I'm talking about is maybe real estate, like learning how to buy and sell properties, learning the nuances and the laws and, and the permits and the things you need to um, buy and sell properties and being in that space as well. Learning how to take pictures really well. Like I said, social media is very huge and a lot of people now watching videos or, you know, pictures and knowing how to, you know, take pictures, take videos and also edit them is a very, very huge and important skill. The next thing I'm going to say is expand your life, emotional and financial knowledge. And the best way to go about doing this is watching videos or reading books. Books are one that is going to stay with you. The first book I ever read that really changed a lot for me was Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This book changed my my perspective on money, finances, and what it means to actually bring value and get rewarded for it. So this is a huge book that I'm going to recommend to you today that you should definitely read. So this is going to change how you look at finances, what does financial knowledge mean to you, because this is something they do not teach you in high school or even in college, really, if you're only if you're in the business school and even at that it is very very rare so i'm gonna say this is one that you gotta put your mind and your efforts towards next thing i'm gonna say is a little bit more laid back and this is learning a fun skill it's learning how to swim how to play a new instrument how to paint some other new creative skills maybe even editing if that's something you want to do um, so these are really fun skills and it's going to get your right brain to start learning some new activities when your right brain starts working it's very good because it gets it um, stimulated it's just like any muscle if you're going to the gym a lot um, you keep stimulating your muscle again it's going to continue to grow the same way if you're learning new fun little skills here and there your brain is also going to, is a muscle and it's also going to be improving growing um, and it's going to be on its toes and that's going to help you in other aspects of your life as well so the fun little things that you learn here and there Make sure that you keep that in mind, that it could be very beneficial for you. You may not see the impact in the short term, um, but in the long term, it could be beneficial. Overall, you just want to spend money on the things that put you in the right positions and the right network to continue to expand um, and move forward in your goals and your dreams and get you one step closer to financial independence. So. It's very important that you invest in that criteria, and that's why I have it at 40% of how you should be investing your money and your time. So the next thing I'm going to say is you want to be investing probably 20% of your money and time in tangible assets. So the first example is real estate because this is the biggest market and the most millionaires, 90% of millionaires in the world are uh, property owners. So you want to be in this space one way or another whether it's being a broker, whether it's being an investor, whether it's just being um, partners with people who are investors and just working with them over time. So this is 
going to be huge. So what you want to be doing is saving money to either get your first property or just invest in a, a lot of other things. Um, you can also have art, other collectibles, gold, silver, even other commodities that, you know, as long as it's tangible and you can actually physically hold it in some way, shape or form, you want to make sure you're somehow investing your money and your time in it. The huge part about this is cash flow, especially for real estate. Cash flow is very huge when you are renting property. Um, this is very good for your cash flow over over time. Over every month, you're going to be receiving some type of reward uh, for managing this system. And if you manage to grow the system out into um, two, three, four, five, six properties, it's going to start paying off in the long run. And then after your cash flow is growing, um, and after your properties have been paid off in some way, shape or form, you have some equity that you can then end up reselling into the market. So that's going to be huge. The next thing about this is it's going to help you build a network of partners, associates and investors that's going to magnify the other aspects of your life as well. So these people, um, especially real estate investors, they're going to be working a lot of different other things, too. Like you are going to be working on a lot of different things and they're going to be well versed. Um, as investors, and they're going to be able to help you see things that you didn't see before as possibilities. So it's going to put you in a network of individuals with a similar mindset as you, which is always going to be rewarding to you. The next one I want to talk about is you should be investing 20% of your money and time into traditional investing. So these are your stocks. These are bonds. These are your ETFs. These are your 401ks, your IRA. Um, so these are going to be the traditional way of investing. The stock market gives you maybe on average 8% year over year. And this is very good because it helps you beat inflation. Your in savings account or whatever the case may be um, is going to be losing to inflation over time. And you're not going to be getting a bang for your buck. So what you want to be doing is uh, somehow investing in the overall stock market, even if it's an ETF, um, even if it's the S&P 500, um, you're better off investing in the market and in the economy because that's going to actually pay you back the next thing you want to be looking at is established companies that also may be paying dividends if you're looking for more of a cash flow type of feel dividends are very good because companies pay you part of the profits every quarter and they give you that um, if you're invested in their company so that's going to be good if you're into a cash flow type of time uh, type of thing um, it's going to be very rewarding for you um, examples are some Coca-Cola, General Electric, um, and such. So keep those companies in mind. So you want to be making sure you're diversifying your money and your time. This is the entire point of this video right here. So you want to make sure that you're investing in high growth companies as well. So we're going to talk high growth tech companies. So these are FANGs. Um, FANGs are already more established. Um, and you can also look at the companies that are smaller that are trying to get to that point. So like your Teslas um, and, the, and the other ones coming in the future. So high growth companies, Apple, um, Google, you know, we have Facebook, we have um, Amazon as well. So these companies are very, very established. They have a huge grip on the market, basically a monopoly in their own right, um, in their own spaces. So these companies are going to be here for a while. If you ever see Google going out of business, I don't know, um, it would take something crazy. The world would have to shift upside down. For Google to go out of business so this is a pretty good place to park your money I think and it's gonna give you good returns in the future the very last one I want to talk about so we have 20% left and I think you should be taking high-risk next-generation investments so this bracket includes cryptocurrency and blockchain so we know Bitcoin was the highest growth asset in the past three years returning the most value to its investors so this is very important because you want to be paying attention to what's coming next. Um, yes, we're in the present moment right now, but you always want to be making sure that you are on top of how the world is shifting and blockchain and cryptocurrency is changing fundamentally how we are going to be storing value and also exchanging value in a global economy, not just in the United States alone. So this is something that you should be keeping your mind and your radar on watching it how it moves maybe dabbling here and there whenever you see fits that's why i have it as 20 percent. it is very high risk um, but it's also high rewards because cryptocurrency if you've ever paid attention to it you've seen it probably go high 
um, and also probably go really low. So Bitcoin was about around $65,000 early this year. Now it's right around $30,000. So you can kind of see how um, huge those numbers kind of move and fluctuate. But anyway, it is still a huge, huge value. Decentralization of value is very huge. People are going to be able to exchange value um, across the world in the global economy. It's going to change the way that we as human beings, social beings, are going to be exchanging value in some way, shape or form. Huge potential to change the way we live. So anyway, I think it's very, very important that you diversify your portfolio. Any smart, successful investor is going to tell you the number one reason they are successful is they diversify their portfolio and they invest over time. So that's called dollar cost averaging as well. So you want to be making sure that you are consistent setting goals and you are tracking those goals and you're making sure you're reaching them. So it's not just flying off the whim and investing on a whim or doing things like that. It's strategy. Um, you want to make sure that you're going into these things with strategy and doing trying to receive the best outcome out of it. So diversify, diversify, diversify and put your money um, in yourself first because you are going to be the ultimate reward at the end of the day anyway it was your boy elijah if you like this video in any fashion make sure you smash that like button because it helps me to continue to make content like this if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe because we here are a family of people working towards our financial independence we talk about a lot of different investment opportunities um ranging from stock markets cryptocurrency and you know i dabble a little bit in real estate not quite doing a lot of real estate stuff yet but i plan to eventually get my real estate license and then um, i will be on top of that more especially when i do graduate from college so anyway if you like this channel make sure you subscribe it's going to help me to continue to make more content like this and it's awesome to see new people and new faces people commenting in the comment section i love to talk to y'all about what y'all think and what you guys are working on so make sure you hit the comment section as well Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Don't speak to no one, put the facts to the masses.